This is a recording from a talk given at the Poetry Medicine Symposium to mark the announcement of the 2015 Hippocrates Prize for Poetry and Medicine. So what I want to do now is give you a bit of background about children and cardiovascular risk. Unhealthy lifestyle in children increases risk of premature and preventable heart disease in later life. A major reason is the consequence of obesity in children. As you can see summarised in the figure, overweight in children can also lead to a wide range of other problems including in the endocrine system type 2 diabetes and problems with reproduction, in the musculoskeletal system problems with the joints, in the gut at risk of gallstones and fatty liver, in the lungs problems with breathing through asthma and poor exercise tolerance, in addition to psychological and nervous system problems. This map of the United Kingdom is colour-coded to show rates of obesity, and the dark orange shows you the highest rates, which are up to one in three adults being overweight, and this is particularly a case in the North East and Midlands, with high rates at roughly one in four people being overweight in Scotland and in the South. Children who are overweight are twice as likely as normal weight children to be obese as adults. They also have an increase in several factors which increase risk of heart disease, including increased risk of high cholesterol, of high blood pressure, and resistance to insulin, which is an early marker of risk of diabetes. And men who've been overweight as children are more than twice as likely to die prematurely from coronary heart disease. Bearing in mind the strong link between obesity in children and increased risk of obesity in adults, here I'm showing you some information on the estimated impact of the increasing trend in obesity, looking over the next uh, eight years or so. And you can see that the most striking increase is going to be one in five more heart attacks, uh, one in three more high blood pressure, and almost half as much again diabetes. A key question is therefore what can be done to change behaviour to keep children healthy and therefore to minimise preventable disease in adults. And to give a specific example, how to encourage a child with a choice shown in the picture to make the right choice for his or her current and future health. It's also not as simple as eating the right foods, it's about not eating too much and too much in the way of fruit for example can also lead to overweight and other health risks. Another important health message is that the combination of diet and activity together are much better than either alone. Being active helps to keep the weight in the right range as well as having many other benefits including on mood and on reducing risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, uh, some cancers and bone disease. The Cardiovascular Research Trust is a healthy heart charity. In 2011, the charity set up Healthy Heart Awards. These aim to encourage interest among children of all ages in lifestyle, diet and exercise that helps to keep the heart healthy. Schools receive an award certificate to recognise their interest in education about how to keep the children's heart healthy. The Cardiovascular Research Trust has, in partnership with the Hippocrates Initiative for Poetry and Medicine, set up a Healthy Heart Poetry Project. In the first part of the project, Wendy French and one of the 2015 Hippocrates judges, Rebecca Goss, have been working with schools on poetry about the heart. Wendy French will now tell you more about the project. Rebecca and I find that found our biggest problem was actually um, getting into schools because schools are incredibly busy places. <coughs> they've got their curriculum, they know what they've got to do, they've got targets to reach, they've got SATs coming up. So it's two people come in and say, hello, would you like a workshop? Although this is really important work, 
they're still, they've got their, uh, their timetable to complete. And we found the easiest way to work with schools was when we could get in with people we knew, either um, support assistants or teachers or a parent or a child going in and saying, I've heard about this and then the teacher contacting us. And that's what I'm in the process of doing now is trying to set up um, a programme of schools. I, Rebecca comes from Suffolk. Um, I'm in London, but I've met with the Poetry Society to see how we can broaden the, poet, the poetry out, and we're applying for a grant to get more money so we can employ more poets to go into schools around the country with this. So anyone who's interested, or anyone who knows a school that might be interested in having um, people come in to work on this project, we would love to know. Um, basically, the children wrote the poems, they sent them in, Rebecca and I met for a day, I went up and stayed with her, we worked through them, we found um, the poems that we wanted to include in the book. Uh, one child said to me, um, I'm very cross with you because you took my last line of the poem out. And I said, oh, I'm really sorry, what was that line? And she said, it, and it was something to do, I'll love you till eternity. eternity. Yeah. And I said, well, I think that was probably because we're not sure what eternity is. She said, well, it means forever. I said, well, I'm not sure what forever is. She said, what, you've got to your age and you don't know what forever is. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they're, they're, they're Next, Raf Shirley reads selected poems from the Love Your Heart anthology. Um, so to begin, I'm going to be reading a couple of poems from this book, Love Your Heart, anthology of poems by children for children. Anyway, if anybody knows of any schools, or any children, if you know any children in your families, they don't have to be come from schools, but would like to be part of the project, do email me. My email's up on the, um, on the Hippocrates website. Because we, want, we just want to get the message across to children that it's just sensible eating, sensible exercise. Yes, I'm going to choose at random. Heart I Am by Hafsa Abdi. A joyless heart I am, sitting here all day, watching you on your Xbox, play, play, play. I want to beat, I want to smile, I want you to run for miles. Nice and short. Um, another one now by Hattie Morris, age seven. Um, I am what you need. I am what you need. Eat healthy food or your chances of dying soon will get higher. I am what you need. I am the centre of human life. I will keep pumping constantly if you help me. I am what you need. Practice your strokes in swimming, jog and sprint lots. I am what you need. And I'll read one more. Uh, this one's called Gift, and it's by um, Tamana Alam, age 12. Your heart the life to your body, your heart like fire to a flame, your heart like water to the rain, your heart pump, pump, pumping blood, keeping you alive, your heart feeling emotions all at the same time, your heart keep it healthy, health is a gift. Um, as Andy said, finally, I'll finish with um, the poem Coronary Care by the GP Chris Woods. Nurses thump my pillow, bring it back to life. Turn down sheets and pages of notes. Murmur to themselves like the machines that graph my rise and fall in light. Rubber bracelets on wrist and ankle, a cuff round my arm that inflates anew. My red balloon, lighter than life, ready to ascend so easily to heaven. My bruised red apple in a bony crate, you are more delicious than ever now. Sweetheart, you were always there, such love I took for granted. Don't go. In summary, children, their teachers and parents have all enjoyed taking part in the Healthy Heart Poetry Project. Since the Healthy Heart Awards were started, 22 schools have taken part, from Manchester to the Isle of Wight. There has been a first anthology of selected poems called Love Your Heart, published in December 2014 by the Hippocrates Press, 
and we have started a series of annual Healthy Heart events for children, teachers and their parents. If you'd like to find out more about how children and the schools can take part, please email hippocrates.poetry at gmail.com or check the Hippocrates Society or the Cardiovascular Research Trust websites. Finally, a big thank you to all the children, teachers and parents who have taken part. This talk on the Healthy Heart Poetry Project for Schools took place at a symposium held to mark the 2015 Hippocrates Awards for Poetry and Medicine. If you'd like to find out more about these awards and how to enter for the 2016 prize, go to our website hippocrates-poetry.org.